Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. As you can see on the sign, today we are going to be reviewing Minute Maid's new Aguas Frescas. Um, currently they come in three flavors, which are hibiscus, mango, and strawberry. Aguas Frescas is kind of like a street vendor beverage. Um, it's popular in Mexico, but they sell them here in uh, Mexican neighborhoods and uh, Mexican fruit stands here in Chicago. And Aguas Frescas literally translates to fresh waters. Um, it sometimes is also translated as cool waters. And basically it's a beverage where you mix water with a fruit or other flavoring and some sugar. You mix it up in these really big containers and they, and they put ice in them and they kind of like label, ladle them out into, um, on the street usually like styrofoam cups, um, usually like the same cups that we'll see. They're sort of like a lote, which is like the corn in. They'll also serve these beverages. Um, and it comes in a variety of, of flavors. Uh, horchata is a very popular one, um, but some popular fruits you can get them in is cantaloupe, grape, guava, mango, melon, prickly pear, orange, papaya, passion fruit, soursop, strawberry, watermelon, raspberry, peach, cucumber, lemon, lime, pineapple, pitaya, tamarind. You also get with chia seeds. Um, horchata, sabata, hibiscus, alfalfa, and vanilla. And sabata is a type of barley, apparently. So that would make sense because it's kind of like horchata is rice, sabata is barley. It's a different cereal based, um, and it comes out like a milky type of beverage. So, Minute Maid has three. Hibiscus, mango, and strawberry. And the hibiscus one, hibiscus is more of a flower, so it's kind of be like more tea-like. Uh, but they all can, uh, contain some amount of fruit in them, fruit juice. 3% um, to be precise. So we're going to start out with the Aquas Frescus Hibiscus Juice Beverage. 3% juice. It's mostly filtered water and corn syrup. And this also has apple juice and 2% or less of there's natural flavoring, citric acids, and other preservatives. And then at the bottom also has sucralose, which I believe sucralose is the Splenda sweetener. So it has high fructose corn syrup, apple juice, and then also sucralose. So um, a bunch of different types of sugars or sweeteners. The entire can has 20 grams of sugar in it, uh, which is 90 calories. Let's go ahead. It does say to shake before you drink. It says it's on all three cans. These are non-carbonated, but still sometimes when you shake things that aren't carbonated, they still can have a little bit of a spray to them when you open them. So let's just be careful of that. Yeah, put a little a little spray on there. These also say they contain like vegetable juices as a colorant. It doesn't say what vegetable that is. Maybe like a beet would create this, but here's your color. You see there is like a bit of fizz that's coming out of there. But it's not supposed to be sparkling. Do it taste. Hmm. I definitely taste that fruitiness of the apple juice. I've had hibiscus stuff before, so I'm familiar with the, the flowery flavor of it. And like for the most part, I'm not a fan of flowery flavored items. Um, really not a fan of rose water. But this beverage is, is, is nice. It's fresh. Um, it's cooling. It'd be a perfect thing to drink. Um, hot day. 
If you want something light, refreshing, just enough, enough sweetness. Um, and it goes down smooth because it's not carbonated. The only thing that I would say is if you really like hibiscus flavored things, this one, the hibiscus, isn't really a strong part of the flavor at all. It really kind of just tastes like a watered down apple juice that has a hint of something in there. In this case, it is hibiscus, but if you really liked a stronger hibiscus flavor, you're probably going to be disappointed on this one. All right, moving on to the next one, we have mango. Here we go. It's a, a yellow, green, and orange can. Um, this one also says shake well, and the ingredients of this one are water, corn syrup, apple juice, mango puree, citric acid, vegetable juice, natural flavors, and then a bunch of preservatives as well. It also says 3% juice, blend of apple and mango juice concentrates. I forget to shake that one. I might have forgotten to shake that one. Let's give it a little bit of shake this way. Pour into this cup. Here we go. The mango aguas frescas. This one has a little bit of a cloudiness to it. I'm going to look at the ingredients one more time because I want to see if it has a certain thing in it. No, it doesn't have it. You know, sometimes the Mountain Dews will have uh, ester of rosin in it, which gives it the cloudiness. I think this cloudiness might be from the mango puree. It does have a very strong mango smell to it. Let's give it a taste. Again, really smooth. There's a good sweetness to it. The mango in this one is more pronounced, I would say, than the hibiscus. But I think just that's just because mango is a more distinguishable flavor than hibiscus. This hibiscus is like a tea flavor, which are tend to be lighter flavors. Mango has a sharpness to it which really comes through here um, but I still get a lot of just that sweet apple juice type of flavor um, in this one <laughs> but the way the light is hitting my beard it looks like I have like a strip of blonde hair like right in there weird um, again good refreshing I think it tastes really good if you are wanting something that's more mango-y, it's probably going to disappoint you somewhat. And lastly, we have Agua Fresca's Strawberry. Again, 3% juice, and the ingredients are water, fructose, corn syrup, apple juice, strawberry juice, citric acid, and a bunch of preservatives with Fruit and vegetable juice and sucralose at the bottom as well. Let's give this a shake. Remember to shake this one. And it'll probably still have some type of release when I open it. And really that's from, usually they put uh, a little bit of, of nitrogen inside the can uh, and that just helps preserve items because oxygen tends to have an oxidization um, reaction with certain liquids so usually they just put like a little cap of nitrogen on there because nitrogen is non-reactive and I'm sure if you shake that in you're gonna get a little bit of the nitrogen to mix in with the liquid but like that almost immediately comes out when you 
Open it. This one is the lightest of the colors. It's just barely pink. There is a bit of a berry-ish smell to that, but this one smells a lot like apple juice. Okay. There is some distinguishable strawberry nose to this one. In fact, I think the more the most flavor I get out of this is strawberry. The smell kind of smells like um, those uh, strawberry hard candies um, that have like a little bit of strawberry gel jelly in the middle. Usually those like old people candy. And the flavor and the taste really have a good strawberry flavor to them. Now all three of them, like I said, they're only 3% juice. But that's contributing to um, how light and refreshing they are because the, all three of these are mostly water and that's really what Agua Frescas are. They're water that you've flavored with fruit and sugar and other things. Um, and basically that's what you're getting. You're getting a refreshing water that has some sugar and some fruit in it. The change it from just being plain old water not maybe up to being a full-on juice, but it's kind of like a Kool-Aid, but made fresh with real ingredients, like fruit in general. Um, these are preserved cans from Minute Maid, so of course they're not as fresh as like a real Aguas Frescas that you might be getting um, when you drive by one of those... Uh, pavilion tents that have the tacos and corn and cucumbers and um, fruit that they put the the, um, the red spice and lime juice on that it's really delicious and one last thing I'm just gonna try them all mixed up together because if I have multiple things you know that's what I want to do a little bit of hibiscus, a little bit of the mango, a little bit of the strawberry. And that's what it looks like all mixed up together. It just has a general fruity smell to it. It's a good taste. The, the hint of hibiscus from the grape, the hibiscus um, beverage is completely overwhelmed by mostly the mango. The mango is like the, the flavor that punches through everything. But you still get that apple juice kind of flavor and there's definitely a noticeable strawberry um, part of that as well uh, but of everything I think I like the strawberry one the best it's the most refreshing light and definitely tastes like strawberry mango is my second favorite the mango does punch through uh, very sharply although it does still taste a lot like apple juice and my least favorite one is a hibiscus. It kind of just tastes like straight apple juice with a hint of something that you may or may not be able to tell is hibiscus. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Minute Made Aguas Frescas. Uh, 
these all three are definitely something that I would enjoy drinking. Um, would I get either of these again? I think the strawberry one, um, if I was thirsty and I was uh, at a store or a restaurant and that wasn't an option, or I was exiting a grocery store and that was something in one of those coolers, and I was thirsty at the moment and I wanted to grab something nice and refreshing, I would definitely reach for Niagara Professor's Strawberry. Um, one last thing, this video, because it was a, a Minute Maid product, it reminded me of an idea that I've um, been thinking about and wanted to do for a while though, and that is seeing what brand of fruit punch is the best. Now Minute Maid definitely has fruit punch that everyone is, uh, everyone enjoys that one, but lots of different brands make fruit punch. Not every fruit punch has the same fruits contained in there, but they all relatively try to get that same flavor profile. Some people also think that fruit punch tastes different, whether it's in a bottle, a glass bottle, a plastic bottle, um, a carton, a frozen pre-mix, a uh, can. So I know there's a lot of strong opinions out there about fruit punch, not only brand, but also what container it comes from. Um, I'm mostly interested in seeing what brand tastes the best though. So that's an idea that's still rolling around my head that this video actually reminded me of. But uh, that's not uh, something coming up anytime soon, but if you have an idea of which brand of fruit punch that you enjoy, leave that in the comments below so that when I finally get around to doing that, I'll have uh, a good starting point to which ones that uh, I need to be comparing. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.